Hi, my name is Greg Boat. I'm with the Spiders and Space Investigation Team, and I'd like to show you how to build a spider habitat. If you want to participate, you'll need to have a habitat like this to have a spider, so that you can compare the behavior of the spider in one gravity, normal gravity on Earth, with that of the investigation in space. Well, to make the habitat, it's quite simple, and it's so easy I can do it right here in my office. You're going to need a couple of things, like, for example, this salad box right here, take-home salad box. You get that from supermarket salad bars or from restaurants. And after you've had your salad, give it a good clean. It's ready for a habitat, perfect size for it. You'll also need to place a framework inside here so the spider can build its web. And the framework is going to be made out of yarn. So we'll thread the yarn through there and build a nice framework. Because in nature, spiders, when they spin their webs, will do so off of branches or corners of buildings and so on. They need something to work from. Well, to put a framework inside there, we're going to actually have to have holes in the box. And the way to do that is to use a candle, and we're going to melt the holes through the box. It's very easy to do. By the way, if you're going to have students do this, make sure they wear eye protection. For my tools, I'm going to use an ice pick here, but you can also use a pair of pliers and a nail that works out fine, too. Just remember, these are going to get hot when you start heating them up there with a candle. So I'm going to start heating this up here, and by the way, I have to close the box up to make it nice and strong. And I'll start heating it up here with the candle and the ice pick into the flame like this. It just takes a few moments to get it nice and hot, and I'll melt through the side of the box. Now the place I'm going to do it is right over here. So there's the first hole right there. You see how easily that went right in. Now I'll reheat it again, and I'm going to make another hole on this side right there. And I'll go around the box and do a total of eight holes along the side like this. So uh, I have one here, 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 there, 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 and there. But I'm going to do one more hole, and that's going to be in the side of the box. And I'll explain what that's for a little bit later. So that will be over here on this side. All right. Now, I've already done this. I'll blow up my candle and show you a box that I've already put the holes into. So I've got my holes right here, and we've got the two right there, two here, two here, and two there, plus that, plus that extra hole right there. Well, I have to do a little sewing, and what you'll need is a tapestry needle or a yarn needle. So I've got a piece of yarn and my big needle here. Let me just thread the needle here like this, and there we go. And now, what I simply do is I take the needle and go through the hole like so. Go all the way across the box to the next hole. Where is it? There we go. Like so. Then, as you see here, I've got, I've got one line going across like this. I'm going to take it around the corner here and go through this way. Like so. Now, I think you can see the pattern that I'm developing here with this. I almost uh, find the hole there. There we go. Go around the corner again, like so. Almost done. Now cross the box to there. One more time on this side. And we head back to where we started. So it's the last one. There we go. Now, when I fold the string tight, the iron tight, I've got a nice uh, square frame right there, which is perfect for the spider to build its web. Well, we're not quite finished yet. You've got to tie that off and, and trim it, of course. But there's one more thing to do, and that is cotton ball. The cotton ball is going to be glued right here by this other hole. And the reason for the cotton ball is that we need to have some moisture in there. So this is the way to, mo to moisturize the inside of the chamber. I'm using a glue gun, and I'm just going to square it a circle of glue around that hole, and then take the cotton ball, place it right on here, it's now glued in place, and I have made a spider habitat. Now later on, when I want to add moisture to the habitat, I'll use a little pipette, get some water in there, and just go to that hole, and add the water inside without having to disturb the spider. So that's how we build a spider box. Of course, it's going to be up to you to get your spider. You can go out in nature and capture one. But look for a web first, a nice orb web, which is that circular web that's so pretty you see in a lot of pictures. 
and then capture the spider with a little jar. Just go up there and, and get the spider, and then bring it inside, set it up, and you'll need to also get some food for the spider, and we talk about that in our, our educator guide that goes along with this, the Spiders in Space Guide. So I hope you'll have a great time doing this investigation, and you can see how easy it is to, to get started.